Hello, my name is Guy Fredrickson and today is December 24th, 2019. I'm in the process of restoring a 1961 Chris Craft 17 foot runabout. I purchased this boat out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho about two months ago and uh, getting into the, the project. This video is about removing these mahogany plugs above the screws, the uh, bronze wood screws that hold the planks onto the boat. Um, during this restoration, I'll easily be removing upwards of 2,000 of these wood screws from the transom, which I'm working on now, but also the entire bottom of the boat and maybe even some of the side planks. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. But uh, this process uh, isn't something that I invented. I have to give credit to Snake Mountain Boat Works and uh, all the wonderful videos they've posted on YouTube regarding uh, wooden boat restoration. But I'm going to show you how I do it here. <clears throat> so I start with a, uh, it's called a rotor brooch. I bought these on Amazon. Um, comes in a kit. This is a 3 8 inch diameter cutter. So I use this to uh, cut into the wood plug initially, but not all the way to the wood screw, not necessarily all the way to the wood screw. Um, just to get it started, uh, you can remove the rest of the wood using a pick. So uh, let's get started on this one here. So I line up the pointer to the center of the wood plug and then cut into it. So this uh, pulled the plug out pretty nicely. You can see the head of the Phillips screw in here. Now it's very important to be patient at this point and make sure you clean out the grooves in the head of the screw. It's, uh, you don't want to strip these out. The tools that you're using are hardened steel and this is bronze, so it's a lot softer. You do not want to strip the head out, uh, you can avoid that. So I always start manually with a small Phillips head screwdriver to make sure I get um, some traction on it, it's grabbing, and that one is. And I do that before I use a power tool to extract it the rest of the way. Just take it out nice and slowly. <clears throat> so there you have it. I'll do one more. <clears throat> Again, line up the rotor brooch in the center of the plug. Go in a little bit. <clears throat> take a pick. Remove that remaining wood. Clean out the slots on the head of the Phillips head. See if you can get a grip with the screwdriver. And then go to the power tool. <clears throat> and there you have it. And that's how I do it, and I'll have to do it about 2,000 more times. All right. Have a good day.